most importantly, I don't fear any man. You know? Speak a little bit. This will be the first fight. Will you be working with uh, Virgil Hunter? Respect for him for a very long time. But him and my trainer go way back. So when they got the call, when we were looking for different gyms, and they said, come on down. You know, we'll open our gym to you. And uh, if any assistance that we can be, we'll be. Um, so I'm looking forward to just being around that great energy. Andre Ward is a tremendous champion. He's someone who I respect and have admiration for. So just to get, you know, that great energy from those guys, Andre Berto, Amir Khan, I mean, it just would be a great environment. I'm bringing Chris Algieri on, uh, mm -hmm. a, a former world champion, uh, uh, as my nutritionist as well. So, you know, our team is going to be put together very well, and I'm just glad that, you know, the next couple of weeks will be, you know, the best, the best, probably the best camp I've ever had in my career. Daniel, he likes to test himself, his chin against other fighters, like letting other fighters hit him. Do you think that's going to be a mistake if he does that with you? Do you really think he let fighters hit him? What What's up, man? I'm good, how are you <laughs> Does he really let fighters? Okay, well, I mean, if he's down for letting me hit him, then I'm all for, you know, <laughs> giving him my best shot, but I don't know if if that's what he'll do. You know, I think, um, his, are we starting soon? Okay. I got You got to give me a question. I got to Put your hand on the mic, please. But no, we don't know. I just think that, um, he doesn't really allow fighters to hit him. And if he does, you know that, that the, the danger is probably low. You know, whereas he let a guy like um, his last opponent. And I don't want to call out guys as far as who he let hit him. I don't want to minimize guys or discredit anybody. But at the end of the day, when you have a big puncher, uh, he didn't let Curtis Evans hit him, you know, and I think he knows who he can do it with. So I'll leave it at that. Danny, a lot of people are scared of him. He has the Mike Tyson effect. You're not scared of anybody. Can you can tell me about that, the fear that people have of him and how come he doesn't face it. I mean, I think a lot of people, and I've mentioned this before, are really beaten before they actually step into the ring. When you think about his power, when you think about what he brings on to the table, it, it puts fear in people's heart. I come from Brownsville, Brooklyn, brother. It's a, I'm a different type of animal, you know? I don't let those things put fear in my heart or get me nervous or, or, or change my approach to the game, you know? Janani uh, Gulasi is respected in the sense that he's a fighter. But March 18th, uh, there would be no there would be no respect. There would be no, uh, uh, you know, being defeated before I step into the ring. You know, I want to be in the heat of it. I want my back against the wall. I want to be able to show the world that I'm the best. And what better way to do that against one who they already considered to be the best? If you beat it, does that mean that Is he really considered? I thought oh, Chocolito was. But yeah, it's, it's, he's up there. He's definitely he's up there. You can't take that away from him. Um, but if I beat him, what's your question? If I beat him, what? I don't know. That's up for the fans to decide. I mean, I'm like I, I'm just you know I'm two three years back into you know coming back from cancer. So, you know I still have a lot of proving to the game, and I'm looking forward to proving myself against Renati Gulati because in some people's opinion he is the best. So we'll see what happens. From there. And lastly, what is Daniel Jacobs, the announcer, like about this fight? I'm a boxing fan, first and foremost. I love the sport of boxing. I love the fact that you have two fighters that are in their prime step up and fight each other. And the fact that it's going to be in the mecca of boxing and the fact that it's going to be in New York City. I mean, you had Ali Frazier. You had Trinidad Hopkins. You had so many other different world-class great athletes perform in that building. And I'm just looking forward to, to being there and having such a masterful performance because this is one of those things where if you love and you know boxing, you know what he brings to the table. You know what I bring to the table. You know this is a can't-miss fight. This is probably one of the best fights that's going to be this year. What would you like to face off? We need to get, we need to get Danny up there. Okay, so you Thank you. It's in his face. I was, nah, I was just kidding. It was cool, though. Okay,